All right, everybody, do a quick video. Our powder coat oven, four by four by seven foot tall. It's gonna be propane fed. And I didn't wanna to have to turn the gas on and off. So I bought a PID controller like most people. And a Mr. Heater, 60,000 BTU heater. And what I did was, it's got a continuous ignition. Took out the manual start because with this, the PID wouldn't be able to turn it off and on automatically. So, took that off. What I did was so it went in like so, and I replaced it with this quarter inch or three eighths I should say LP valve it's what it's made for LP it happens to be 12 volt I didn't realize that when I bought it uh, no big deal buy one of these this happens to be for my Wii uh, it was just to test it I have the actual converter on the way but what will happen is when the PID senses the temperature that it needs to be it'll send a signal which will activate the valve and turn on the unit itself. Uh, this has continuous ignition, so it'll it'll light up. Well, like I said, without that, you wouldn't be able to do that. You'd have to do it yourself. So I just want to show some people because there wasn't much online when I was trying to figure this out, and it's actually still flush. I'll be able to put the cover back on. Uh, I'm well, a little demonstration just so you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Just a 20 pound bottle. So I'm going to crack the bottle. Charge up the lines. So right now with no power, it's closed. It only gets power when you, or excuse me, it only opens when you give it power. So I have a surge strip here with the unit itself. So I just want to turn the surge strip on. The unit itself will come on and that's it. And you can hear... You could hear the continuous ignition igniting. So now what I'll do, give me just a second. Like I said, this is just, was just to do the demonstration to make sure it functioned. So if you heard that, when I hit that right here, let me unplug the blower so you only hear the valve and you'll hear the gas as well. So that opened the valve like gas. All right, so you get that. So now the blower is plugged back in gas is open so when I hit this it's gonna open the valve and ignite everything and shoot a and have a flame I turn it off closes the valve shuts everything off no gas leaking now the PID controller can monitor temperature as it needs to I don't have to worry about it, set it and forget it basically. Uh, I could put a link up for this, uh, $43 for the valve. Uh, I think it's going to be well worth it. It fits in the housing, I mean it fits like it was made for there. I had to drill a new hole, that was the original, so what? Uh, everything stays in line, that still functions like it should. So. Hope this helps some people because I did a shit ton of research and there was nothing out there. Uh, most of the forum posts were ancient. Uh, 2009 was the latest one I could find. Uh, like I said, that's going into a 4x4x7 four by four by powder coat oven, Cerakote oven. My understanding is the 60,000 BTU units will heat an uh, oven that size uh, in about 7 minutes to 400 degrees. Elements aren't going to do that. 
and it'll run off the 20 pound tank. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Should have it all pretty much put together tomorrow. Uh, but before I close it up, I just really want to do a video, show people, give them an idea that there is an alternative to the electric elements and still hook it to the PID controller with the electric valve. Really simple. Uh, like I said, I hope this helps. Uh, this was Mike with Bolt City Designs.